Uh, two men ordered to pay $108 million to the parents of Misty Horner are now asking for a new trial. Investigator Melissa Yeager spoke with Misty's parents' attorney and has reaction tonight. Melissa. Well, Krista, Misty Horner died in 2009 from complications after childbirth, and brothers John and Caleb Horner filed the motion for a new trial just last week. The Horner brothers say Misty died faithful to her spiritual beliefs, which forbid modern medicine. But information brought to light during the civil trial puts all of that in question. You start questioning, why didn't I see this? Six years after their daughter Misty's death, Daryl and Gail Mansfield still struggle to make sense of what happened. A Lee Summit dispatcher, her parents describe Misty as loving and devoted to her husband, Caleb, who was a Lee Summit police officer. She loved Caleb. They both love each other. Daryl remembers when Misty broke the news she was expecting. She says, uh, you're going to be a grandpa. You know? But that didn't last very long. When they married, Caleb urged Misty to follow the teachings of his brother, John Horner. In writings posted online, John preaches women should treat what the men in their lives say as the word of God, ordering complete submission by wives to their husbands. He also rejects modern medicine and encourages home births. Misty had said Caleb wanted to have a home birth. And I said, Miss, you know, I don't think that's a good idea. Reports from a police investigation detail what happened over the four days Misty spent in labor. Two childbirth instructors made visits to the home and both told Misty and Caleb the baby was breached and they say they insisted she get medical attention. Police reports show after one such visit, Misty put on her clothes to go to the hospital. Caleb asked for time to pray, then told the instructor who was encouraging them to go to the hospital that the couple had changed their minds. Caleb later performed an episiotomy on Misty to get the baby out using a pair of dirty scissors. They blotched it. The baby they named Sydney was stillborn. Misty died a month later. Prosecutors declined to file charges in the case. Misty's parents later took action in civil court. We're not saying they can't practice their religion any way they want, but they cannot hurt people. Attorney Danny Thomas filed a wrongful death case on behalf of the Mansfields, alleging Caleb and John refused to help Misty and separated her from the people who would. They create a system um, or a situation where no matter what happens, the police aren't coming, the ambulance isn't coming, and the hospital's not getting called. During the trial, the medical examiner testified an infection from that episiotomy caused Misty's death and that a doctor could have easily delivered Sydney alive. Thomas also showed the jury that Misty made several attempts to get help. There was the incident where Misty called the chiropractor and he says, you need to hang up the phone and call 911, and she says, they won't let me. Okay, that's not freedom of religion. Okay, that's them imposing their will on somebody. After hearing the evidence, the jury sided with Misty's parents and awarded them $108 million. Do you get any sort of closure from that? I get closure. I get closure, yes, I do. Um, will the sadness ever go away? No. Um, the hole in your heart will never go away. The prosecutor at the time of Misty's death decided not to file charges because he wasn't sure he could prove Misty really did want help. The office did not respond to our inquiries about whether testimony in the civil trial changes all of that. Meanwhile, the attorney for the Mansfield family says motions for a new trial are common and they haven't had a chance to review this one to make any statements. Chris, I also reached out to John and Caleb Horner. John declined our invitation for an on-camera interview and Caleb did not return our calls or emails. It'll be interesting to see what else happens in this case. Thank yes. you, Melissa, for keeping us updated.